Right. Big dog. Yo. How high are you? Hear me? Yeah, how high are you, brother? What you <laughs> I'm big high, always. <laughs> Living well, above you them. Boy, well, I, I can see it. You on you on that you on that gas or you on or you on that red? You can hear me though, right, bro? I can hear you. On that gas only. <laughs> I always on that gas, gas. only. <laughs> okay, okay. What's your name? Yes, Where you sir. calling from? <laughs> My name is Carter. Um, I'm calling from Far Rockaway, Queens. Um, Carter from Queens. How old are you? Thirty-four. Is it a is it a delay or something? Better. What's your what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Taurus. All right. You got any kids? No, sir. No kids. Okay. What you do no, for sir. a living? I'm a what case manager. I work with um children's and family. I'm a case manager. I work with children and family uh, experiencing homelessness. Okay, here we go. So this is my man Carter from Queens, 34 Taurus, no kids. He's a case manager. What type of woman you looking for? Um, um, open-minded woman. <clears throat> so I'm black and Italian. I'm a transgender male. So um. So I'm definitely looking for an open-minded woman. Okay. So you said you're a t you're a transgender male. Yes. So I was born a um, female, and I've been in transition for two years now. For two years now. Okay. Okay. Have yes. you have you? Mm. So what what are you what are you looking today? Um, women. That's what I like. I like women. <laughs> Okay. You you like women. Have you yes, sir. have you mm -hmm. have you talked to women? You talk yeah, to women since all my life. <laughs> before I was before I Yes. It's just been a while since I've actually been on a um dating scene, if that makes sense. That's a bit did you I mean and if, if I'm getting too personal, you can just say I don't want to answer that. Um, and I'll leave it alone. Nah, did you think? Nah, I'm open. <laughs> did you, did you, um, did you change the parts too? No, um, I'm scheduled for top surgery February 29th. So that's so what they're going to do with the top is surgeries. They're going to masculine gonna my chest. So I'm going to look like you. I'm going to look like you. They're going to masculine my chest, bro. Oh, so they're going to take your titties off. Yeah. Put them in a jar. I don't want them. <laughs> put the titties up. <laughs> yeah, put them up. Hang them up. I'm over it. Word, bro. Don't I'm gonna look me. like you. Yeah, gotta go. Gotta go, Don't baby. Me. Wrap them up. Gotta hey, go. That's what's up. <laughs> word. That's what's up. You do you word, got big word. titties? Um, well, because of the testosterone, they shrink. So I have they've okay. they've shrunk. But prior to that year, bro. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. It's very interesting because you you know you see uh, you see um, you see guys transition to girls a little more often than you mm -hmm. see um, the other way around. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what's I up. I mean, okay. we we out there just I guess they a lot of people not really open, but I'm open. I don't. I'm not a closed book. I, you like it, you love it, you don't. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> right. Only right. Right. Man, no. that's supposed to judge me. You know what I'm and, saying? So. And but that but to be honest, if, if you're gonna do something that I think like if you if you're gonna really change your body and and, and go into the, a transition, I think you should have had that attitude. I mm. mean, why wouldn't you? If, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it's for it's you, good. it's you walking in your truth. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's all about your truth, nobody else. It's your walk. So you know. there it is. There it is. But yes, sir. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. So do you do you you do you plan on like getting a penis or keeping the coach? Um, I'm gonna be honest, I do, but I don't. There's a lot of complications. 
that people mm-hmm. don't talk about. Um, so with me, with the bottom surgery, this just on my part is more research. I really want to kind of do okay. about it. Got to be safe. Put yourself. Yeah. Put yourself first on that. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's get this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Looking for an open-minded uh, woman. Um, do they have to mm-hmm. look a certain way? Um, yeah, I like black women. Um, I am my father's son. I love black women. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. So you, you like, you black, you gotta be a black woman. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, okay. Do they, do they, do they have to make a certain amount of money? No, just be, um, be about your business. Be doing something with yourself. I'm going to be honest. It's not to me. Money doesn't make a person, you know. Um, but please be doing something with yourself. Don't, because I'm not your ATM, you know. I know that's right. I know that's right. You should, because let me tell you something. You come over here to this side, brother. They will expect you to pay for everything, my man. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> All right. Um, let me ask you this: What are, What are your deal breakers? What are the things that you you just can't accept, uh, Carter? baggage please be healed um mm. that's the toxicity is just not for me first red flag i'm going baggage yeah mm-hmm. okay no toxicity anything else no uh, um nah okay there it is um what would you what would you say is the age range you want to date um late 20s uh mid 30s because i'm in my mid 30s i'm 34 so um i say yeah. 25 no that's too young i'm sorry let me take that back um i'll say maybe 28 27 and i don't know because i'm that's a little young too i think late i'll just say let's young? say i'll be 35 brother I'm, I'm, I'm I have turning 35 too. I stay 28. Huh? You think that's decent? I mean, I'm, I'm personally getting ready to turn 35 December 30th. Okay. And if, if I met a woman that had her stuff together, you know what I'm saying? Like a maturity level, I would date her 28. I just, I just can't, I can't, I can't go up over, I can't go below 25. That's my right. 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 I couldn't, I couldn't. All right, I'll say about, about 28. I got a little brother that's like that age, but okay, we'll do that. I 28. My we'll niece is around that age, and that's and that's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, I can't anybody around my niece's age. I would have to be like, yeah, 25, I think. Okay. Yeah. But if yours is 28, it's yours. I mean, it's this your this your choice. 28 is cool, bro. <laughs> You're right, but 28 is cool. I'll take yeah. 28. Okay, 28 to what and how far up will you go? Uh, the oldest I would say is probably like 38. So 28 to 38. Okay. 28 to 38. Okay. That's a good range. All right. Um, would you date long distance? Yes, I would, but not too long distance, not like overseas type long distance within the, within the New York with, I'm not going to say within New York city, cause I'll do different States. So I'll say within the state, 50 States. Okay, there it is. Um, let's do Kendra Cam. All right. Uh, but this this oh, this body about to change though. This body about <laughs> yeah. to change. Don't think you, you, you gonna get your little BBL while you in there? Get some abs chiseled in? Nah, man. I, nah, I'm be honest. I was uh, real big. I don't know. Oh, okay. Listen, well, my size and pants is a thirty-two. Um, I was 230 pounds. The last time I got on a scale, I was 209, and I dropped from a 36 pants to a 32 in pants. So, and how long? Within the second year, so I'm about to make my second year February 9th. So within this year, I lost that weight within these months right, uh, from summertime right, to now. Congratulations! Yeah. Congratulations! So I've been on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do want to get abs and you know my arms up. But yeah. I, as okay. in weight, I, I'm very proud of where I came from because I was, I was heavy, bro. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you lost about 30 pounds, huh? Yeah. There it is. Okay. I ain't mad at you, dog. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you don't have to answer this, but when's the last time you had sex? Last Thanksgiving. Yeah, been a while. Last. <laughs> yeah. Is that person was crazy? They toxic. I was, what happened? Was that person? Um, toxic? she was. She was a. Nah, she was an ex. So it was more like a backslide thing, I guess you'll say. You done backslid on me, yeah. So there it is. There it is. Uh, what would you yeah. say? Is <laughs> Listen, hey, it is what it is. What's your three? What do you say your three flaws are? <laughs> um. I'm very, like, I have pet peeves. I think that's a big flaw of mine, even when in relationships. Like, I have a pet peeve. I think my pet peeves sometimes. What's, let's give them um, some of your pet peeves. Get in the way of. Sorry. What's some of your pet um, peeves? Give the people some of your pet peeves. I, I don't want to say it, bro, because I had a chick tell me I'm shallow, so I don't really want to say it. You like, got to say it. You might as well say it, shit. You hear? It's fucking up. I'm gonna be honest, I right, so like when you asked me, I don't know, I right, boom, when you was like, what kind of girls you like? Like I tell people like it's unethical for me to date a chick that's just butt ugly, bro. Like, I just think it's unethical. I don't know why, that's just me, bro. So like that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Like a girl, she could it's it sounds shallow. I know it's fucked up, but it is what it is. Like she right, could be nice, she could be a sweetheart, but if her looks not up, I can't fuck with her. Most most people are like that. It's not that's just people in general. They a better way of saying that is just saying like I need to date somebody I'm attracted to. Cause I, I think it's okay. I, I think yeah. it, I think it's I think it's mean to call people but ugly because somebody ugly to you might be attractive to somebody else, but they not attractive to you, which is fine. Right. So I think the more better way to say that is just like it's fine, right? Yeah, right. like I need I need somebody attractive to me, and if they not attractive to me, right. then you know, then I probably can't mess with them. You know, I'm so sorry. I get that. Well, maybe what's that's what's another your pet peeve? I'm sorry. Um, everything has a place. Everything like I have a place for everything, and I think that um, yeah, I think that's a problem. In some type of situation. What you mean like, you got even a, in my a work place, sometimes, man. Everything has everything has a place. Like everything in life has a place. Like I have a certain like I write a drawer, like a certain drawer for everything. Like it's it's like kind of like an OCD, but to me, I feel like it's it's a flaw of mine. I'm gonna be honest, because it yeah. drives other people crazy. Like I have people that's that's around uh -huh. me, and it drives them a little crazy. You know, because it's do you got. You got a strap. Know, that don't go there. This has a place here. Nah, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm crying. Nah, bro. <laughs> that was hilarious. That called me over. He said right. everything got to play. <laughs> go to the strap, bro. Yeah. Nah, it do though. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking weak, bro. Yeah, I guess. I, you know, I, I guess you can say that. that. <laughs> I be talking shit. You know nah, you got I, I be laughing bro. at you, bro. I, I think you're hilarious, bro. <laughs> but nah. There it is. Yeah. Uh, why, 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 uh, Carter, why, why you think you single, bro? Um, <clears throat> I think I'm single. Well, I know why I'm single. I've been single because uh, I've been just more focused on self, career, you know, um, and as well as being just focused on my transition. And I, I needed time to heal, too. And after I healed... You know, mm -hmm. I put all my energy into my transition and just me, myself. Right. So now that, you know, I feel like I'm where I want to be, you know, not really where I want to be, but I'm where I want to be as of right now. I'm not bad. I'm better than where I was. So now I feel like I'm open to like, you know, open my heart to somebody, you know? Yeah, I get it. You got to be in the right place. Um, Let me ask you this. Why would somebody be lucky to be with you? Cause I'm kind, I'm open, um, I'm outgoing. I'm be honest, I'm a hopeless romantic, um, and I'm not selfish. I'm loyal. All right, okay. 
that's what's up okay hopeless romantic selfish lawyer well like this is carter out of queens 34 taurus no kids um case case manager right yes sir we'll date long distance need somebody open-minded because uh carter transitioned into a man about two years ago um no baggage no toxicity age range 28 to 38 um has some pet peeves please be attractive to carter we rephrased it you know what i'm saying be be, be attractive <laughs> to carter, yeah. please. yes and be attractive. One, one thing i appreciate about you one thing i appreciate about you is one your openness and your sense of humor you know what i'm saying i appreciate you, those <laughs> I, I really do appreciate those Thank things you. that's real that's real shit. You know I appreciate you and I appreciate this platform that uh Kendra built. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, man. KG and boss. I tell everybody yeah. all the time, man. The biggest hustler. I'll be watching. I'll be watching. Biggest hustler I know is a black woman. Her name is Kendra G. Top hands down. Yeah. Um, and I work hard. But then when I see Kendra work, I'll be like, I ain't working hard enough. She don't play. Um, let me ask let me let me ask you this. How do you want people to reach out to you? they're interested um you can reach out at my instagram or tiktok they're both of the same designed the number two the b and then fly um hit me up anytime okay design all right carter appreciate you have a good one